have already been picked up here at QVC2. It's a smarter dessert choice. You can customize it any way you like. And I am still using my Yonana's machine from more than five years ago. It lasts the test of time. And our big deal fits into our Kitchen Hacks theme perfectly because if you've been making smarter choices for dessert or if you've been looking for that machine that can help you do just that, stick around because we have amazing ideas for you and Eileen McHale is here. I haven't seen you in so long. Forever. I know, way too long. So good to see you, my Thank friend. Thank you so much. So excited to be back. We're doing with everyone excited here. Excited to have you here. Um, you. Eileen is the inventor of Yonana's and we met years ago on In mm -hmm. the Kitchen with David. We did. And she is such a talented, smart, incredible lady and we are thrilled to have her on the show today. The offer is this, mm -hmm. the frozen treat maker that you mm -hmm. just saw Eileen using in front of us. Right. You also get a recipe book. So last year, we had the Yonana's machine. It sold out. It was about $40. It was $39.98. It was on two easy payments. Mm -hmm. It had shipping and handling, a $5.50 attached to it, and it had 22 recipes. This year, bigger, better, more. Mm -hmm. You get the same price, but you get four easy payments this year. Amazing. Also free shipping and handling <laughs> and 49 <laughs> recipes so you get more recipes 32 of them are new so the price four easy payments of ten dollars free shipping and handling for a machine that can do this what is the premise of Yonana's for right. everybody at home? I mean, this is it. We, we say, you know what? I love ice cream. Ice cream doesn't love me back. And sadly, <laughs> I think so many of us deal with, for sure. with that issue, right? It's dessert, usually. And we want to feel good about it. This is guilt-free. This is 100% fruit. What we just pushed through here in seconds, frozen bananas, frozen blackberries. That's all that we have here. Uh, you know, we've we referred to this as, you know, a, a little, you know, nice little twist on dessert. Yeah. However, I want to point out something that, you know, it, it's, it's a breakfast option as well you know those <gasps> bowls right now again oh, your it. fruit your coconut your granola you've got a mixture of food groups here so don't think about this just for the end of the night this could be all day long a snack breakfast or the end of the night because I'm gonna show you today banana recipes like this I'm gonna let you take a bite of this one also Mary oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna show you no banana recipes we're gonna show you some chocolates and we're gonna add a little alcohol for the adult version as well hey so, hello um that it's, is so it's good. late enough the consistency is mm -hmm. perfect. And you know what? Mm -hmm. For those of you that are counting points. That's right. This, this one right here. This is all fruit. That's right. Zero points. Zero, zero. Just That's saying. It. That's um, it. You know what? So how do we do it? Let's take a look. Right. And for those of you that know how, excuse mm -hmm. me, I'm still chewing. Um, give us a call. If you have a Yonana's machine from QVC, we want to hear your story. Testimonial lines open 800-600-1556. For those of you that don't have a Yonana's machine, but you're curious, mm -hmm. here's what we do. All right. So I first want to show you if we're going to use bananas, I'm going to show you another banana recipe. All okay. right. So if we're going to use bananas, the ones that you're ready to throw away, mm. this is great. No food waste. Peel these first freeze them and then we like to say that you know when you take those out if it's if it is a banana now see how easy it is for me to, I can still break this in half right so this was not anything that was like so difficult we say stick it on the countertop seven to ten minutes at the most throw it in the microwave 30 seconds a minute Got it. it's about making this easy for you when you run it through it should take you seconds right to run it through so just let it have a little thaw on it your life will be simple and easy with the machine so I get it out of the box I plug it in one button on and off. I That's love it. it. It's, it is that simple. Um, and I'm excited to, to make the next one for you because Ooh. this was this was this was a David inspiration, if you recall, Thank you, right? Because he had said, "Can you put a peanut butter cup in there?" <laughs> and I said, well, "I mean, we can put anything in there if you like." And so here we have some bananas with uh, the peanut butter cup. And again, this is a little this is a little twist on yeah. on you know a more traditional version, but without all of the extra calories you'd get in that traditional version. Um, and it's, it depends, you know, for me, I struggle with dairy. Uh, you know, I know that you struggle with gluten issues. Yes, you know, we, we're all contending with too many things these days and why feel like you have to sacrifice. So we're just mm. trying to find ways to inspire you to still feel like you can still treat yourself, still do something that's good for you. Um, but this was just, this was a little, a little naughtier version, um, but come on, it's fun. It's fun, it's fun, it's fun, and it should be fun. It should be fun for, for anyone, um, whether it's, you know, your father, um, it's the kids. Yeah. It's a little fun place. And so. you know what? I mean, it looks really good. I mean, that looks like the most decadent dessert 
and it is, obviously, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not doing things that are very bad for me here. I've replaced all of that sugar and cream mm -hmm. and all of those heavy things with banana. Right. With banana, and I think that's, you know, we know banana is considered a superfood. So this is your base, so we're doing a little something to make yourself mm -hmm. feel a little bit better about that. What I also love about this too, because sometimes folks will ask about oh the banana gosh. flavor. I know. Can I hold that with both I hands? I know. You will. This you. one, this one, you're going to be hugging it. Um, this is, you know, put that side by side with your traditional peanut butter ice creams out there. I'm sorry, but you're still going to taste, you're tasting peanut butter, you're tasting chocolate in there. Some things, you know what, if you're thinking, oh, is it the banana flavor I don't want? I will show you no bananas, but there are some things where you're not going to taste that. That is all peanut butter and chocolate. That's out of this world. <laughs> David right? is a genius. Uh, right, um, he is a genius. Props to David. That is fantastic. Do the, um, does the peanut butter and chocolate cups have to be frozen too? No, they do not. Okay. You know, when I say when you want to put in all your yum yums, your goodies, mm -hmm. those pieces, whether it's cookies, the chocolate, they do not need to be frozen. You can keep them in the freezer if you want to just stay consistent. Absolutely, you can do that, but you do not have to do that. So I almost remember. forgot about television there for a second. Right, right. That yum, is yum. so good. Here's the thing. Don't waste your bananas. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can absolutely peel them, mm -hmm. pop them into your lock and lock, keep yes. them in the freezer. That mm -hmm. way you always are ready to go. But it doesn't have to be a banana based dessert. It we can not. use other fruits, right? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, right now what I have here. I've got some frozen uh, pineapple. I've got some kiwi in there that we peeled and we froze, and we've got some frozen strawberries. So we'll just show you again. No bananas necessary. So just go ahead and just kind of plop it on in there. I like, I love throwing in the kiwi because I think, you know, we've got like a little tie-dye version of oh, some bananas, right? And it's so just fun. fun and colorful. This is the one that I think is great. If you want to get the kids to play and get involved, I think this is a fun go-to. Um, I have my four-year-old nephew, Connor, who I love when I go visit him in Cleveland. He's the little guy that wakes me up at 5 a.m. and says, can we make your nana? I, I like to make the all fruit with him, which makes me feel good that he's asking for something like that. Absolutely. However, you know, he's a big fan of the regular mint chocolate chip ice cream, so we have yet to make our mint chocolate chip no bananas together. No bananas, and look at this consistency. Oh, Come that on. looks is so this good. Not, this is just as, I mean, this is a crazy, crazy size bowl. We did go a little crazy there. But you will see. I was just I keeping mean, up. Come on. I, you know, I like that. We're I'm, working together. I'm here We're to working help. together here. Look at there that. There you go. Look at that. That looks there you go. like you spent hours to put that together. I, know. I mean, right. look how delicious. I have to have a bite of the I mean, kiwi, too. Seconds, you know there that's you go. good. I know. You know that's good for you. You, that's, this is, again, again, if you're counting points, we know what this equals. This is zero, right? If you're trying to get the kids to eat so more good. fruits and vegetables, or if they're just a little funny about texture, right? Yeah. You know, sometimes adults are funky about texture, too. Yeah. But this is just a fun way for you to be able to eat those things that are good for you. Vitamins, fiber, minerals. You don't believe that that's really what this is, but it is. It truly is 100% fruit. That is so it. fresh and delicious and good. And I want to show you down in front. This is mm -hmm. the offer. This this is the QVC2 big deal. We are thrilled to have it back. This is the Yonana's classic frozen treat maker with the recipes. If you're looking online, I understand. You want to know the model number. It's model number 902. Feel free to Google if you like because this price tag is fantastic. $39.98 free shipping and handling, and it's on four easy payments of $10. Last year, our Yonana sold out. We had it on two easy payments. This year, you get more recipes, more easy payments, and it's on free shipping and handling. Last year, it was not. So mm -hmm. more than 4,000 have been picked up since its launch and just 400 in this show. So this is a great offer. This is the way to make those smarter choices. And this is the way, too, that I know so many of you have made choices in your own home for mm -hmm. the better. We actually have Diane on the phone from ah. Wisconsin. Let's say hi to Diane. Hi, my name is Mary. Please meet Eileen, the inventor. How are you? Hi, Diane. Hi, Mary and Eileen. I am doing just fine, and I just made a batch of um, the frozen treat last week with my No Nanos machine that I bought. I think it must have been the first year it came out because it's hot pink. Oh, oh cute. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and I says, I am a Weight Watchers, and I was glad to see that was in the Weight Watcher magazine. That was zero points, so that helped me. And my husband, he's diabetic. Excellent. And uh, so this is just, and the first time I made it, he said, what kind of sugar did you put in here? And I says, it's all natural. 
Mm-hmm. And that, so he was very pleased with that. Oh, I'm so glad. So happy for you both. I'm so, so mm-hmm. glad. How's the taste, Diane? Oh, gosh. It's just like going to an ice cream parlor or something oh. like that almost. <laughs> you know, That's so just, nice. You know, I'm I'm a big strawberry banana person or whatever, but I've I've done the pineapple and banana and that and um mm-hmm. and that. So we we like to use the bananas in there with other fruits or whatever. So, but Yay. but yeah, it's, it's it's basically a lifesaver. You know, instead of always buying ice cream and all this stuff, it's something that's fresh right away. And that, and then when I saw this today, I said, you know, I need to do something like make a Neapolitan cake or something like this and. And Great see what, how I could create that with a chocolate top and a strawberry and then a uh, clear one on the bottom. So I good. love it. See, and that's what I love. Everyone gets inspired. Think of the things that you love, but don't feel like you have to sacrifice. I think there's just a fun, creative way to take this machine and create just that. If you want to do something with those Neapolitan flavors, it just reminds me of being a kid oh, again, yeah, too. Sure like does. To go ahead and do that. I, th- I love that you're doing that, Diane. Thank you for sharing that. Diane, thank mm-hmm. you so, so much for calling in today and for sharing your ideas with us. We so appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, girls. You're doing a great job. Aww, thank you, Diane. Enjoy. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now. Oh, how nice. I you know, know what? Keep your phone calls f- coming. We want to talk yo nanas, and you are inspiring mm-hmm. us with your ideas. So the testimonial line's 800 600 1556. You know, mm-hmm. I look at this and I think, mm-hmm. who would ever know that you didn't just pay a ton of money uh-huh. to be able to get those kind of results at home? I mean, it is, crazy. It, is, it is crazy, and I, th- I think that's kind of the wow or surprise yeah. factor, that it can be just that fun and that simple. It truly is that easy, and it can be that economical as well. Exactly. I mean, economical dollar-wise and on calories. I wanted to point out to you, because you know with that recipe book, you know, you've got 49 recipes now. Yes. Um, you know, there's a couple of, of extra recipes in there, clearly. But, you know, here's a little plate. We just made a quick bowl, but go ahead, scoop it on to, here's your meringue shell, right? You can add some other berries. So that's the no banana version we put on top this is that blackberry banana that we put on the sponge cake so again you know if you're struggling with with gluten issues you could do the meringue shell so you can turn this into a fun little dessert simple dessert for the afternoon you've got a little lunch you've got some friends coming over yeah. I mean just again it's meant to be simple it's meant to be easy it's meant to be something that's good for you so I get it home mm-hmm. I give it a clean um, right. I know anytime you take an right. appliance out of a box oh. you want to give it a clean right. Right. Um, so mm-hmm. plug it in plug it in how do I look where where do I put the bananas if that's right. the first one I want to do? Uh, absolutely. So, you know, and I probably should show you because we'll just show you. Oh, this. Perfect. It separates, obviously, into two two parts. So, again, this is also meant to be really compact because we know sometimes our kitchen equipment can be a little bit large sure. and difficult to store away. So, meant to be um, super compact. But this is where all the cleanup is. Is All you have to do, too, here is just separate the pieces. Um, warm soapy water but you can go ahead and throw this in the top rack of the dishwasher so again super fast and easy to clean but all we need to do though is we're going to turn on the button we're going to just drop the fruit right through the top and it just pushes right on through so That's I'm going to awesome. make you I'm going to make you a cocktail version oh. right now all right well it's like we've met before I feel like I felt I I felt you <laughs> I felt you all right so I'm taking this I'm taking this back home a little bit this is a, a play on mojito Ooh. so we talked about the things we like I like mojito. Um, so what we have here is some frozen limes that we peeled. Okay. We we soaked these bananas in a little bit of rum. Oh my! So this brings it up to the adult version. You can put a little lime zest in there because there's a lot of flavor in the skin of that citrus fruit. So we're running that on through here. We're gonna pop a little extra mint on through too because you know there's some mint in that mojito as well. So just push on through bananas, mint. Lime, rum, and here we have a little fun twist. Look at this yum yum. All right, now we can enjoy that right out of the bowl, which you and I probably <laughs> wouldn't go any further. But let's just say we wanted to, you know, entertain somebody. Yes. Um, we want to impress a guest. Uh, what we would do is just take this, scoop it on into a glass. Scoop it on into a glass. That's not TV rum. That's real rum. <laughs> ah! I am an honest person. Woo! Woo! hey You know, I have a generous pour, too. All right, so we have, we have, we have our rum-soaked um, bananas. Hello. I love, I love her. Come on, we are good friends. Is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> um, 
That was right? amazing. Oh, I'm amazing. All right, put a little put a little lime in there. However, it's, we've got to float it. So, it's so you know, a little a little lemon lime, a little soda, and throw in a straw.